Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you these really pretty and simple DIY rainbow roses and they'll be a really great gift for your mom for Mother's Day so if you want to know how to do this then keep watching! Let's begin with the stuff you will need. You should get some roses from your local gardening or florist and if you can get them from a garden because it will be a lot cheaper. Mine were about $2 a stock. If you get it at a florist in a shopping mall, it would cost a lot more. And you also need some food coloring. Just get it at your local bakery store or grocery store. Some scissors, a pen knife, some glasses of warm water. Warm water always works best as well as some white vinegar and sugar to help the colors remain and a spoon to stir as well so let's begin first you're taking your roses and you're going to cut them to make them shorter and one thing I made a mistake with this is that I should have cut them in water so that the capillaries of the stems won't die on me and it would absorb the color liquid a lot better but I forgot so anyway I'm just measuring about 40 cm from the tip of the rose down to the end of the stem and I'm just cutting this off Next, about halfway up the row stem, I'm just using my pen knife and slowly making incisions on it and joining them up and slicing through the entire stem down to the end so that it splits into half and you might need to do this a couple of times and just make sure that you keep your hands really firmly placed on the stem so that it doesn't move around and you end up cutting yourself. You should get an adult to help you with this if you're not familiar on how to use scissors or pen knife. And yep, as I mentioned earlier, please remember to do this in water. It would be great to do this in a basin of water because um, then your capillaries won't spoil. So here I've cut my stem into four quarters and sometimes you might get really thin ones which may not be of use and you can just break them off later on. So now I'm just going to show you the same thing repeated on another road. I realized that if you do have a pair of proper gardening cutters for plants then you should use that because it would be a lot easier and quicker to cut the stems. And this time I'm just slicing my bottom half of my stem into three parts instead of four. So it really depends on how many colors you want to um, dye your roses. You know, if you want to just blend two colors like red and orange or red and blue, or if you want to just blend three or four to make it rainbow shades, then it really depends on your preference and that's how many times you have to slice the stem to make sure that each segment gets absorbed in the food colouring later on. Now we're going to add some sugar and white vinegar to the warm water that we have prepared earlier. Basically, the sugar and white vinegar are elements in the solution that will actually help to retain the vibrancy of the colours in the roses. So here I'm just adding 2 teaspoonfuls of white sugar to every glass and stirring that in. And then following that, I'm adding about 2 teaspoonfuls of white vinegar as well and then stirring that in. And then we're going to move on to put the foot colouring. So here I have the basic colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue and violet and usually two or three colors is enough to help to get the mixture of colors so if you mix red and blue you can get purple, if you mix red and yellow you can get orange so there's lots of ways you can play around with the colors and the stems of the roses to see what sort of like sunset or lilac effects that you would like to try out. So here I'm just cleaning off my spoon and I'm going ahead to put the rest of the colors into the separate water glasses and how saturated the colors you want your flowers to turn up absorbing would depend on how much food coloring you put. Here I'm just putting 3 to 4 teaspoonfuls worth and stirring that in and 
Of course, if you want it to be more saturated, then just add more. But because I don't really have that much food coloring in this tiny bottle, so I'm just putting that amount and it works enough. Um, but if you want the colors to be deeper and darker, then I would suggest that you have to put more and leave it for a longer time than what I'm showing you here. So yep, it's definitely to your preference and you have to try and error as well. And the length of the stems of the roses affect the absorption of the color as well. So shorter stems means um, faster absorption and more saturated colors as well. So really it's up to you to be creative and mix whatever colors you want to get the color effect that you want, the gradient color effect that you want. And yep, just have fun while doing this. And if you want to stay as clean as possible and not get too messy, just put a towel nearby or some tissue or wear some gloves so that you don't end up staining your hand or your clothes. So yep, we're all done. Now we are going to insert the stems of the roses into the glasses. And you can see that here I'm trying to create a sunset look so I'm putting it into the red, orange and yellow glasses. And yep, so just um, depending on what colors you want your roses to absorb to get the gradient that you want, just put the stems in appropriately. And to ensure that they don't fall over like you saw in my previous clip, just make sure you tape them down or use a piece of string to tie the stalks together so that they can stand upright straight together and lean against each other. And once you're done with everything, just sit it in a cool place or a cool corner that is away from the sun and away from any hot weather, especially because roses do not um, grow well under the sun and the heat, I suppose. So yeah, just uh, make sure you keep them in the cool. And after six hours, this is what you should see. You can see here that the roses are starting to slowly absorb some of the colour, some is turning blue and green, some red, some orange. So yep, it's quite fascinating. Um, you have to leave this over an entire day at least for the full colour to take place. After 12 hours, you should get something like this and this is already a lot more pigmented as you can see but still not so vibrant as yet. And finally, after 24 hours, one entire day, um, you get the full saturated colors of the roses. Now, not all my roses absorbed the liquid because I didn't cut my roses in water. So I think some of the stems had already spoiled, but I'm glad that two turned out perfectly well and I'm happy with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try it out and give this to your mother. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!